Hello guys, in this video we are going to learn about the age of the earth. Okay, in this video we are going to learn about the age of the earth. So the age of the earth that has been found by different methods is, uh, is uh, approximately 4600 million years that is equal to 4.6 billion years. But there are many methods to find the age of the earth. There are many methods to find the age of the earth. One is indirect method, the other is uh, radioactive methods. Indirect methods has uh, some uh, subcategories and the radioactive method um, also have some, uh, some categories. So first I am going to explain indirect method. Indirect method, uh, there are many different different methods. First is from rate of sedimentation. So you can read that the method involved the matter involves determining the total thickness of sedimentary deposits and this first we will have to determine the total thickness of the sedimentary deposit we will have to find the thickness and then we will divide it by the rate of sedimentation if we do it then we can calculate the age of earth the second method is from salinity of water salinity means originally the sea was uh, originally the sea water was fresh sea had fresh water if the amount of uh, salt carried by rivers to ocean uh, annually is known means uh, how much water uh, is uh, how much salt is carried by the river uh, to the oceans in one year is known then in then we can calculate how much time it took to deposit uh, the amount of salts found in the oceans at present time okay because we know we know these two things uh, if we know these two things which one uh, the uh, annual amount deposition by river and the second uh, how much amount of salt is found in oceans at present time then by dividing these two we can find the age of earth from rate of cooling okay lord galvin determined the age of earth from the temperature difference means uh, uh, the temperature difference of what the temperature difference of uh, two earths two earths means there are not two earths the earth that, that was formed uh, uh, means the earth at its initial state and the earth at its present state he found the temperature difference uh, between both and uh, by assuming the rate of heat loss constant he found the age of earth by calculating the difference of the temperatures okay and the and the fourth is the organic evolution this one initially organisms had a simple body structure and the complexity increased with the passage of time as time passed the complexity of a uh, organism increased human possesses the most complex structure so by studying evolution also age of earth can be determined uh, and uh, it was determined at that time okay the second method is Okay, the second method, the second type of which that I told you is radioactive method. Okay, the principle of radioactive method is a radioactive parent element decays into a stable daughter element at a constant rate. Okay, means uh, if I take an element and means it is a parent element because we have not done anything to it after it started decaying decaying a radioactive parent element decays into a stable daughter element at a constant rate it decays at a stable right this is the principle of uh, this is the principle uh, okay and example of uh, uh, example of radioactive element is uranium 238, uranium 235, potassium 40, rubidium 87. These are the name of their isotopes. Okay, and now let us move ahead. Uh, there is a process known as radiometric dating. The age of rocks and minerals that contain radioactive isotopes is determined by measuring the accumulation of the daughter products in them. Means we can determine the age of rocks or minerals minerals by studying how much how much daughter product has been accumulated in them 
this is called this process is called radiometric dating okay now let's move ahead um, the next is half life half life is the time required for a given amount of radioactive substance to decay to one half of its initial amount okay so what is the half life means uh, if i take 100 uh, if i get to take 1 gram of uranium and uh, it decays to half uh, half gram in 5 second so 5 second would be it uh, 5 second will be its half life i have written an example also here high half life of uranium 235 is 4500 million years okay and 1 gram of uranium 235 is reduced to 100 1 by 2 gram in 4500 million years my stands for million years okay so this is uh, about the half life so by knowing the half life of these elements we can determine age of earth so the formula to determine age of earth using radiometric dating is 3.323 capital T into log base 10 uh, 1 plus nd upon np whole and the, these all are in multiplication where t stands for half life nd stands for number of atoms of daughter at that time and np uh, daughter products and np stands for number of uh, product uh, number of atoms of daughter at um, present time okay so this is the process of radioactive method radiometric dating okay so we should know the half life we should know the number of daughters product at that time we should know the number of uh, number of pre uh, daughter product uh, at present time then we can determine the age of rock or earth is a submission of rock so we can determine the age of earth now it is the time to give notes take screenshots 